Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of City Chit Chat. I'm your host, Danielle Lozier Ortiz from M. Salata Real Estate, your local real estate brokerage. I'm switching things up today. I'm going to be doing a self interview on City Chit Chat, which most of you who know me know I don't usually talk about myself. I'm the ones behind the scenes. I take pictures, but not today. It's all about me, which is okay sometimes, not all the time. So let's get started. I'm from Revere. I grew up here, went to school here, left for a little while and did come back here in 2018. I live with my husband, Alberto. We've been together for about 25 years-ish or so. And my little old English bulldog, Miss Mabel. Um, Miss Mabel is fantastic. She's lazy as ever and as crazy as ever. So she keeps us on our toes. I'm going to jump right into our questions now. So my first question is, why did I become a real estate agent? It was a part-time thing at first. And then um, I started here in 2018 as well. No, I'm sorry, 2015 I started here. I've been an agent for eight and a half years. Uh, multiple transactions, both selling and buying. Mostly selling, which is a good thing. Um, as listing agents, I should say. Um, I work with my mom. She was the one who taught me the ropes and learning about real estate had morphed into more than just selling um, or being a salesperson. For me, it's really about the clients. I like to assist the clients in finding their homes and helping them to downsize. Um, you know, not every experience is the same, but I do love the people and all the different situations that we get to be in with being in a real estate position or a selling position. Um, how did I get started? Um, my mom. So my mom owned the brokerage and she's, um, was, I was fortunate enough to have her as my instructor. She taught the pre-licensing courses, so I didn't have to go very far to take those, which was fantastic. Um, and I, I, I've kind of morphed into this agent and salesperson slash owner now and it's it's been interesting to say the least it's not easy i have to work with um all the agents that are in the office all these different personalities which is really great because that's one of the things that i'm really good at um my next question is what are or who are some of your business idols and role models there really is only one um it's my mom She's the hardest working person I know. She's tough but fair. She works super hard. She opened the brokerage back in 2006. She survived the housing crash of 2008. She was able to grow and adapt to the changing time. And I know that those work ethics is what she's instilled in me and hopefully for me to be a great businesswoman. Big shoes to fill, but I'm up for the task, I think. Um, so what makes me stand out from the other real estate professionals? I guess for me, I'm a pretty in tuned person. I um, love dealing with the seniors or first time buyers because I have a lot of compassion or empathy for them. Um, for seniors, they may be selling a home that they've lived in for many, many, many years. They may have lost a loved one. Now they have to downsize. So I take into consideration all of that um, when I'm working with people and feel um, where they're at. I want to make sure that they're comfortable and my empathy really helps with that. I like working with first-time buyers as well because they don't know anything. It's an over, um, not over, it could be over, um, you know, the process of buying is nerve-wracking. It could be over overzealous or overbearing sometimes, but it definitely, um, they need to be handheld and I don't, um, I, I love doing that. I think that the more that I need to inform somebody and educate them is really where I thrive when I am working with clients. Um, my problem solving skills are probably um, one of the better things that I'm no, known for. I can see all angles. I look at things from all perspectives. I don't just shoot off something to be solved or to have somebody use my solution. 
I have to look at it from all different angles. That's one of my strong suits for sure. Um, my integrity and my perseverance are, are another part of me that I take very seriously. Um, no transaction is ever the same. And if there is a difficult problem, I get the solve, I get to solve it. And I work hard for my clients to get what they want. It's not about me. It's always about the client outcome. Um, okay, next question. What do I do for fun? My husband and I have a boat. Uh, we use that quite a bit. Fourth of July, we go to the Charles River. We've stayed on the boat overnight, watched fireworks, just chilled out. Um, we rope up with a bunch of people that have boats too, and that's a lot of fun. We also go to our house up in Booth Bay Harbor and spend time up there. It's we usually go in the winter time. It's really lovely. The town has a winter festival of lights during the holiday season, and there's not that many um, tourists up there, so it's really quiet. It's it's a lot of fun. We we have a great time just chilling out and relaxing. What else do I do besides work? Well, uh, most of you who know me on a personal level know that I teach martial arts. My husband has a martial arts studio in Somerville, and I've been practicing karate for 22 years and I'm proud to say that I have accomplished gain, uh, attaining my third degree black belt. Um, I'm super proud of the fact that I've done that. It hasn't been always easy, but I was able to do it. And now I teach the little four and five year olds. They're fantastic. They tell you how it is. They have no fear. They jump right in. They want to do everything all at once. They kind of reel them in a little bit so that they know that they have to take steps into learning things. Um, and I am now doing video blogs. It's not my forte. I'm getting used to being in front of the camera because, again, that's not me. I'm usually the ones behind the camera. Um, what are my favorite things to do in my neighborhood? I in love walking my neighborhood. I know it sounds kind of weird, but I really love looking at all of the houses in the neighborhood because there's all kinds of different styles. I love to learn, I'll see rather what the neighbors do in front of their houses, how they decorate their houses. I do a big decoration during Christmas. My house is always the largest and brightest house. You could probably see it from the moon. Um, but the people love it because they all come through and, um, take pictures, they show their kids. It's really, that's really fun for me. Um, and I guess, um, what else do I like to do in our neighborhood? I love trying our new restaurants. We have a ton of new restaurants down on Riviera Beach, which is fantastic. We just went to one last night in the rain, in the torrential rain, but it was fantastic. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of new restaurants down there and we love to go out to eat. Um, uh, my next question is, what does the future hold for me? Well, um, as I mentioned, I recently started running the brokerage here at M. Salada Real Estate. Um, what I'm working on is that I want it to be the go-to brokerage in Revere and the surrounding communities. Not just a sales for, sale, for sales, but for all aspects of real estate. So if somebody, for example, if somebody doesn't know how to navigate the building department. I want them to come to us and ask us for those um, advice on how to do something for, for that aspect. I also want to be, um, you know, the go-to if somebody needs a home inspector or a referral for a contractor. Um, I want to be the local leader in the community for the real estate part um, to give back to them and support the businesses in Revere. This community website is one of those things that, um, will help me to do that and to be successful or continue to be successful for what my mom had worked so hard to achieve. Um, the success is not just for me, but really for my agents that I'm in charge of or working with. They're, they're the total reasons why M. Salata Real Estate is and will continue to be successful. So that's really what the future holds for me. Um, the last question I have is why is it important to shop local? Shopping, shopping local actually really helps the economy and cities to thrive. And we have to keep that going because mom and pop shops like me 
need to survive. This is our livelihood. We need to work together and keeping everybody working in the in the neighborhood and encourage people to shop at the local level, mom and pop shops, because we all need to succeed and we have to do it together. And that's why it's really important to shop locally. So with that said, that's it for this episode of City Chit Chat. Thanks for listening about me. Wasn't too bad, right? Eh. But anyways, I'm really glad that I got to do this. Please share and like the video so Revere gets on all the different media platforms out there. You can visit parkbench.com forward slash Revere if you want to subscribe to my weekly newsletter. If you have or know of anyone in need of real estate and need a local expert, that's me, send them my way. You can give them my cell phone number, which is 617-285-0667. My email address is dlozy05 at gmail.com or you can find me on Facebook at dlozypre services. Our website is mcelatarealestate.com. That's all one word, m-c-e-l-a-t-a-r-e-a-l-e-s-t-a-t-e.com, mcelatarealestate.com. That's it for now. Thanks for listening and have a great day.